Let's look at the repeal of Article 71, the repeal process, and then we'll come back to the questions that we want to ask Professor Mills as we wrap up on this one right now. So this is uh, Article 290 of the Constitution. This is how to repeal it. A bill of amendment shall be prepared and sent to the Speaker, who shall forward it to the Council of State for advice on the bill. The Council of State shall revert within 30 days of receipt of the bill. The bill shall be published in the Gazette and, and remain published for six months before it shall be presented to Parliament. The bill shall be read once on the floor and then put to a national referendum where at least 40% of those entitled to vote partake in the process of the voting. Of this 40%, at least 75% must vote in favor of passing the bill. Ha, 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 ha. That is what ignorance can bring. This is the process of amending Article 71. If President Mahama says, or any politician says, he's going to amend Article 71, this is the process you go through. And you don't tell the audience who are listening to you that this is the process you go through. President Akufuado has ever been through this process, hasn't he? When he wanted to amend the, uh, the, the, the mayor's thing, he, he set out a bill, and the bill was given to the speaker. It went to the floor of the house upon the advice of the Council of State. It was going, going towards the voting process. And then the NDC said they don't want it, and the president made a national broadcast and said, I've withdrawn it. Now, President Mahama said in 2015 that he was going to amend Article 71. Did he go through this process? 2015 and 2016 is at least a year. The bill of amendment shall be prepared, prepared, and sent to the speaker who shall forward it to the Council of State for advice. The Council of State shall revert within 30. That's the first step. President Mahama is not known to have taken that step about Article 71. So that any promise now that I will repeal Article 71 or that I want to repeal it or I want to have a conversation about it because that's really what you can do. You can begin a conversation about it. Whether or not Article 71 will be repealed lies in the hands, the thumbs of the Ghanaian people. 40% of them turning up to vote and 75% of them voting for that. That's the position of the law. We don't know whether it's Russia is good for the Ghanaian people or it's bad for the Ghanaian people. But if one wants to amend it, this is the process. So if one is politicking with it, he can't politic with it without telling the people that, actually, the process is in your hands. It's really not in my hands. I can just recommend it. And that's what I did in 2015. I recommended it. So Ghanaian people, let's have a look at Article 71. But you also tell the Ghanaian people that Article 71 is for salaries of the president. We, don't, we want to take it out. So, and it's not just president. You saw the long list. Put Article 71 again. Let me show you the long list. Article 71. You're going to have electoral commissioner and the, 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 the people, electoral commission and all those people who work with her. And then you're going to have uh, an MCC uh, council for, for uh, let's, let's go through it. Here they are. The speaker and deputy speaker and members of parliament. So we have to determine today. Forever, what the, the, the salary of the speaker should be, the deputy speaker should be, members of parliament should be, and we don't change it. We equate it to the dollar. Because the Article 71 is there so that we can manage our finances. That's the purpose. So when they are finished, we come and say, mm, given Ghana's situation for the last four years, we don't think the president of Ghana can get, should get more than 20000 So that a president of Ghana from between 2013 and 2017 could be earning more than a president of Ghana from between 2021 and 2025. Because 21 to 25, post-COVID, post-Ukraine war, da, 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 the country's economy is in problems. So when Akufado has finished his term and he set up the committee and he had inherited the salary that he received from 2017 to 2021, the committee can say that for the president, the 20,000 that he got from 17 to 21, it's okay. We can't add. This was a period of austerity for Ghana. We really cannot add. So whatever he received, the president is not owed any more salary. That will be the end of the story. That's why Article 71 is important. It allows us to do that. So when President Kofor did Article 71 with Ismail Yamsin, uh, with uh, Fred Owari, Professor Mills came and said, I want to review it. So Ismail Yamsin was appointed to review the Fred Owari report. We can do that. That's, that's why it is, it is such a useful article. Article 71 is so useful unless you want to politic with it. Unless you want to do politics with it, you will then pretend it's not useful. It is very, very important. It helps us to check ourselves. So we can say that during the time of Speaker Ajete, the economy was good. So he earned 40000 we don't think that Speaker Michael Quay must earn the same amount of money, given the way the economic situation is today. So that the president can come in 2025 to 2029, who will earn more than the president of 2021 to 2025? Yes. 
That's what Article 71 allows us to do. And it's so useful. And why anybody comes and says we should throw away Article 71, I don't even get it. Article 71, if properly used, is what will help us to save money. Article 71 can come and say that members of parliament, between 2021 and 2025, you know how the economy was. We cannot approve the loan and any increments whatsoever. We can't. So we end it there. And once they give that recommendation, the president will approve it. And another committee will come and say, expand it. So if you don't understand Article 71, then you look at Article 71 as though it's a constitutional nemesis. It's not. It's a constitutional gratitude. Article 71. It is. It's not a nemesis. Why is it a nemesis? Why is somebody saying, let's remove, let's, what are we removing it for? 